those around the league feel this way too that I've had conversations with about where he has some weakness. It's not his arm strength. That's not the problem. Like, that's great that you can throw the ball downfield without any pass rush on, like, a random OTA day in June. Cool. It's really more about accuracy and timing. And, and that's really where I want to see, too, and take that next step this year. Look, it, here's what I would say. Look, it, here's what Di I would say. D Diana, Diana, when it comes to Diana, it the comes quarterback to position and Tua and all those sort of things, I play receiver. I play with a lot of different quarterbacks. I'm not a Twitter guy. I'm not a keyboard guy. I'm not any of that. T-shirt, all Americans go every single day in OTAs. We see it all the time. Doesn't mean anything to me whether it's a good pass or a bad pass in OTAs. What really means something is in September when you take the field against the New England Patriots and the pass rush is coming and people are in your face and the timing and the rhythm of delivering the football in sync. Arm strength, look, there's only a handful of quarterbacks in the National Football League that can pierce a football through a gusting uh, of 70-mile-an-hour win. A handful. Everybody else is pretty much the same. You just got to be able to throw it in rhythm and in timing. Can he do those things? Brandon Marshall called him a slow blinker. Said he was a slow blinker. Saying, well, you know, that, that's what you're talking about. You yes. got to deal with process. everything yes. quickly. You, you got to do You got to speed the process up. This is not high school football. This is not pat and go seven on seven. And sometimes when when that's all you're doing and they're treating you like that with gloves on, when you get in the game, now you're on the Autobahn overseas and things are flying by you. So I try to look back on what we were saying, or at least I did look back on some of the things we were saying about Tua coming out of Alabama. And guys, it, it's like over the top about the compliments and the things that we were able to see from him on the field. And two years later, that is not the same guy. He is not a guy that can move this offense downfield. He's turned into sort of a, a dink and dunk kind of quarterback. And, you know, with Cam mentioning, like, you know, you know, he sounded pretty darn lukewarm on him, maybe even a little less than that. You know, he makes a, a fair point of, it seemed like Miami was out on him, and then they get Tyreek and Mike McDaniel as the head coach, who, by the way, I do think will make Tua better. I'm just not ready to buy in that this is going to be a top 10 offense, which, by the way, Miami hasn't had a top 10 offense. Think about this. In 27 years, that's my age. Right, So when I was born, that was the last time Miami had a top 10 <laughs> offense. So Your entire life, you've never is, seen Miami in the laughing? top 10 offense. It has been a long time. And, and you know that they made these moves. You know Stephen Ross is sitting there going, this has got to be, it has to get better. And, and I do think McDaniels will be able, or McDaniel will be able to get him to take those steps forward. But as Key pointed out, until we can see some rhythm, the accuracy... We're going to see that New England pass rush continue to just dominate them. Look, it, pack it, so much it, wisdom into those 27 everybody, years. Everybody, everybody is is high on what they did with Tyreek Hill and bringing in Cedric Wilson and in Jalen Waddle and things of that nature. But let's say this: Mike McDaniel has not called a single play in the National Football League as an offensive play caller. He was a run game coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers, which essentially means he installed the running game. For Kyle Shanahan, Kyle Shanahan called the plays for the 49ers, and I get it. He's part of the Shanahan tree, so everybody thinks he's going to be Sean McVay. But he got to show you. There's only one Sean McVay. He's got to show you. There's You're only not, one Sean McVay. Are you McVay. saying he can't? We have like 20 one. seconds. Are you saying I, he can't I, do it, or I he's got to show you? He, he just got. He just got to show they me. They have not, a I'm, pretty good. Got to show me. Th their lineup of coaches coming out of that Shanahan group. Don't they're fall pretty for good. It. 